many of you may have heard about the toxic cloud, okay? Um, the explosion or fire at a bio lab in Conyers, Georgia. This time it hit home, okay? Literally three miles from my house is where this whole thing happened. I was very surprised, but it, it literally made world news. We had to shelter in place, still sheltered in place. I personally had to leave my home to evacuate. 17,000 people had to evacuate. In case you did not see or hear about this, I'll show you pictures. This is not even five minutes from my house. This bio lab basically houses um, things like chlorine and um, chemicals for spas and things like that. Pure bleach, okay? And so the things that, obviously, supposedly it started at 5 a.m. in the morning. They thought they had it under control. It sparked back up about 12 o'clock. And guys, literally over 24 hours later, it is still smoking, okay? It literally has left a film of smoke over the neighborhoods. I had to evacuate as I stated before. There is so much that's going on right now and I gave warning, I think it may have been earlier this year, it may have been last year, where I said that God had already said that it's time for us to start preparing. It's time for us to start preparing. These little small things that seem small right now, they don't seem small right now, but these are small things compared to the things that we will have to begin to prepare for or um, it be an expectation to start seeing. Because of this, I feel that this is God, his, his grace, his mercy, his warnings, him letting us know, listen, I mean, because I'm in Georgia, like just a few weeks ago, there was the, um, the shooting in Winder, Georgia, the school shooting. Now this crazy toxic cloud, the hurricane, okay? All of this within a month's time. A lot of us are not prepared for anything bigger to happen. God has been saying, stock up. We have to look at these little small things that are happen happening in different cities as a warning for preparation. I was even looking at a movie last night and a lot of times God will speak through certain things and I will know that it's him speaking to, to me. <laughs> and the movie last night that I was watching, there was literally a, a, a plate or a piece of paper the girl in the movie picked up and it said, prepare, prepare. God is telling us to prepare, stock up on your water, stock up on non-perishable items, stock up on batteries, flashlights, Stock up on things will allow you to charge your phone without power. Get walkie talkies, at least make a list. This is what I had to tell myself because I have procrastinated and I have bought nothing. And God told me and warned me personally, and I still have not done it. It's time to start with at least making a list. Just at least make the list. From there, you should be able to go online and at least price the stuff. Some of the stuff you can go to Dollar General, the Dollar Tree and get whether it's batteries whether it's candles whether it's whatever okay I don't have a list I'm making one after this situation I'm making one and literally start getting small things that you think are going to be the most important which is communication ways that you can communicate with people you may have children that are in college you may have family members that you need to be able to communicate if the phone lines go out you know that the most important thing as well is to make sure you got food and water in your house if i mean because right now where i live we're shelter in place which means all of the businesses are closed we can't even go to the grocery store okay so please guys just because it's not happening where you are right now does not mean it's not going to happen in an area where you may be affected. Now, as believers in Christ, we are covered, especially if you're standing at his feet and you're operating the, the right way, then Psalm 91, yes, 
but it does not mean that we don't have to do things in the natural so that we are not further affected by the things that are to come okay you don't know whether or not god may need to use what he's given you to stock up and store to help other people that might need it as well we don't know what is to come and i already know that because of this election there could be civil unrest we need to prepare for whatever and if for any reason something does not occur then that's all the more better but to be prepared is what god has spoken let's be prepared guys okay um just keep me and your family in your prayers because when i tell you that um there's a video I, well i'll play it at the end but there's a video that a guy you know i guess he's knowledgeable about the things related to the carbon monoxide or whatever was mixing that is now in the air and how dangerous it is to the people who are around it i have a family member who has lung cancer who cannot leave the house at all at all and the hospital that's right behind my house they're having to evacuate some of the patients from the hospital so this is like we don't think about how it's affecting other people until we start seeing like how like what's really happening until you start hearing the stories okay so i'll try to show a few tiktok be acting crazy when it comes to me adding video where i can't come back and keep recording so i will add what i can at the end so that you guys can see and hear more about what's happening but keep everybody in um this issue in your prayers primarily a, a um real quick for the people that are in georgia anywhere near that um chemical plant that is primarily a bleach manufacturing company um they're i mean they make stuff like spick and span um pool chemicals pure bleach okay what happens is if the bleach mixes with any kind of acid vinegar hydrochloric anything like that it immediately creates something called chlorine gas and that is the off gas um what you're seeing in these big smokestacks and stuff this red smoke is potassium chloride um, that will kill you very quickly. Anything 400 parts per million or more, you've got about 30 minutes to live. A thousand parts per million or more, you will die instantly. And it is a disgustingly painful death. You will cough your lungs out of your mouth. If you don't have to shelter in place, get your ass out of there. That is going to be in the air and it's going to be in the water for quite some time. But it'll be in the air for